Hey guys, what's going on? Team M here, and welcome to a new video. And no, not a Battlefront uh, commentary thingy. I am Princess Leia, the most epic hero on the hero side. Screw your stupid Han Solo and Hobbit. <laughs> uh, no, this is just an, uh, a video I recorded, but the commentary on it was so god dang awful. I just decided, hey, why not just put a, uh, a Team M Talks commentary video recording over it. So yeah, you guys can watch this while I talk about whatever I want to talk about. So today we're going to be talking about something that's near and dear to everyone's heart. In fact, it sucks. We're going to be talking about dating, for me at least. Now, I did do a video, I think, recently. I don't know how recently. I don't know if I, um, was that, I don't know if I, ac the video actually uploaded. I think it did, though. I'm, I'm gonna say it did. Let's just say it did. Alright. It was like, how to get a, how to get a, a, a guy to like you, and it was for girls, and I think I uploaded it. I'm not even sure. Let's just pretend I did. Alright. Well, in that video, um, I did mention, of course, that, um, it's, uh, that, well, getting a guy to like you can either be really hard, or, or tell, getting, telling if a guy likes you can either be, can either go two ways. He either treats you like he likes you because he's, like, real nice, or he actually likes you. But today I'm going to be talking about dating for me, because I've wasted enough time already. <laughs> no, but, um, basically dating for me has been hell over, like, literally hell, like, it's been hell for like the past five to five to seven, seven to five years. Uh, and I'm not even sugarcoating it. It's been hell, literally. Basically, when I was younger, this was my first date, or at least what I called dating at the time. Uh, there was like, I, I would say daycare because that's kind of what they called it. It was for f like one to 13 year olds. At the time I was 10 or something. Or no, when I first went there, I was like seven because my parents uh, couldn't babysit me because they had their jobs and whatever was going on at the time. So when I first got there, well, yeah, I got there and it was it, it was a pretty awkward place. A lot of the kids were either older or younger. There were n there there was no one my age except my friend. Um, uh, but um, we'll call him uh, we'll call him Bill for now because Bill is like such an amazing name. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, we'll call him Bill, but he was pretty awesome, and we're still friends up to, uh, right now, and he's been one of my closest friends, someone I can trust and talk to, who's gone through the same, well, simulated the same kind of problems as me, if that makes kind of sense. We've had sort of the same issues, but, um, he's got an edge over me with popularity and whatever the hell else, but, um, basically, the first, uh, th there was only Billy that was my age, or Bill, Billy, whatever you want to call him, and, um, he, uh, was like, he was one of the, he wasn't the only one who would talk to me, but he was the only kid I could kind of relate to and just consider a friend. Then, a year later, when I was eight, I think it was, a new girl came around, and, um, I'm not going to say her real name. We'll call her, we'll call her Samantha, because that's, like, such an amazing name. But, um, see, like, privacy issues. Her name, her real name wasn't actually Samantha, but for privacy reasons, we'll just call her that. She was pretty nice, and unfortunately at first, I didn't like her. She was nice, but I was not in the mood to deal with dating, especially because um, I was I was um, pretty tired over the summer, and I didn't have time for much of that. But for whatever reason, she had a huge crush on me. And I remember when I first started talking to her on, like, the third day, she literally grabbed my hand and kissed it. I don't even know why. I just... It was just like, bro, what the hell... <laughs> And she did it in a way that was kind of like a gesture of friendship, but also like, whoa, do you like me? Because you kind of kissed me for no reason on the hand, bro. But I'm not even kidding. That was literally on the third day or second day. I don't remember which day because I'm like, it was like, like what, like eight years ago? I don't even remember. I don't even remember <laughs> uh, how many uh, years ago it was. But it was just, it was just that. She grabbed my hand. Mwah. Just boom. And it, it was like, it wasn't, I wasn't like one of those kids who was like, ew, cooties. <laughs> that was amazingly stupid. It, I was just, it was just like, okay. 
Okay, cool. Nice. But, at the same time, it was like, this girl likes me. Because I was talking to Bill about it. And he was like, yeah, bro, she has this crush on you. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. So, after that, after when I became 10, we actually did start dating. And we liked each other for whatever reason. Well, I don't know why she liked me. But, yes. But then, the daycare thing ended. Once I got a lot older, my parents kind of shifted jobs a bit. And she left the place. So, I don't have any contact with her at the moment. Or, I never, probably never will. Which is fine. But, yeah. Next, when it comes to dating... Were these two girls at a summer camp, and it was the same summer camp, and they happened to both like me. Um, they both asked me out. I said, eh, what the hell, it's only for, like, a week. But I ended up, uh, just shutting them down immediately after, like, two days each. Because there, it was like, dear God, this summer camp sucks. It's bad enough that I'm here with people who think it's good. <laughs> but after that, I really didn't have any, that was probably one of my last dates, if I remember correctly. But basically, the, when I say dating was hell for me, this is kind of where hell comes into play with it. Basically, after fifth grade, um, which I, in my unfairness video, I mentioned that's probably one of the reasons I'm treated very unfair. I don't know if I actually mentioned it during the video, but whatever. Um, people at my school, girls in general at my school, they do, they do not like me. Basically, what happened in fifth grade was just a bunch of crap and basically since the, the human brain basically consciously it does not think about you like when you're not talking let's say like a kid's being a complete um a complete jerk to you consciously when you're not thinking about the kid you're like you know he's not that bad he's not a jerk subconsciously it's like he's a jerk but you're not thinking that consciously so basically when you meet him or when you, like, talk to him, it's like, then your subconsciousness kicks in, and you're like, oh, this kid's a jerk, so whatever he says is immediately jerky. He could even say, like, you're looking really good today, and he'll, and you take it as offensive or in a jerk way, if that makes sense, because what he says is normally a jerk, or because your brain think, sees him as a jerk, and that's pretty much how you will see him subconsciously, and if you're talking to him consciously. So that was pretty much girls for me after fifth grade. None of them really liked me, or at least ones who knew what happened. But, it's a whole different story for girls who didn't, which is always why I want to move away from where I am at the moment. Basically, there are two and in three, inc three incidents where I was at a, a baseball game, and it rained out. This was the first one. It rained out, and there were, th like, a pack of girls, like, four of them, or a squad, as you call them nowadays. I don't even know. <laughs> But, um, they all liked me, and they were trying to see who I, w th who I would talk to first. Unfortunately, my dad is being such a great person and said, Oh, sorry, we have to go because it was raining, and he decided, well, we have to go. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't remember too much about it. The next one I was actually waiting in line to buy Pokemon Harkle at GameStop, a girl started talking to me, and she was very nerdy, which was cool. But, unfortunately, she was very... She, her opinions were, like, she thought all her opinions were facts, and she was really obnoxious. So I kind of, just after I left, once I left the store, it's kind of like, I just had to leave the store. Alright, the next incident is where I was in line at Six Flags Over Georgia when I went down to Georgia. Uh, Six Flags. Um, it was like, what, it was like 10 o'clock at night, if I remember right? And I, the line for the Goliath, if you guys know what that is, was like a three hour line. So I'm like, oh great, time to time to sit in line and ride the last ride I can. Basically, this girl, who at first I couldn't tell if she was a guy that dressed weird, or a girl that was a girl. So, once she started talking to me, and one of her friends came by as well, and they were both, or the uh, girl was talking to me. I don't remember her name at the moment. Um, I kind of wish I did, but I don't. But she liked me. We talked for about two hours, and then... I was about to get on the ride next to her, and my dad literally went right up through the exit and literally said we had to go right when I was getting on the ride, which I don't know what the point of that was, but I didn't even have any contact with her, which was fine because I don't care much about it anymore because I knew I was never going to see her again. But basically, now dating for me is pretty bad because I talk to girls sometimes in school, if not 
a lot more than I actually do. I would do on a normal basis. Normal, normal basis. I don't know how you would say that, but basically, if I do believe if fifth grade, if you guys, I will tell, I'll talk about it in a later video. If you guys, if any of you who are watching know what happened, then that's one reason why. And a couple people, or a couple of my friends, actually know this, and they actually know that's the real reason that if it never happened or I moved, it'd be pretty good. Because a lot of girls, believe it or not, I know, say I'm actually good looking, quote unquote, which I don't want to talk about at the moment. Uh, like, at the moment. I'll talk about it later. But a lot of them did believe it, that I was good looking. And I... Not gonna say they're wrong, not gonna say they're right, not gonna say they're incorrect, not gonna say they're correct. That was I'm surprised I didn't stutter during that. But not I'm not even joking. It was just like, okay, great. You like me? Great idea. Unfortunately, s since the fifth grade incident, a lot of people actually remember, a lot of girls actually remember. And it's hurt it it's hurt me more than it's hurt a lot of other people. Because I won't be able to date in high school, mo more than likely, and if I do, it'll be from girls who really don't care about the past, which are the people who are the girls I probably want to be around, but like I said, dating, I know people have gotten worse to the point where they can't even get girls to talk to them. I can, but a lot of, it's it can be kind of obnoxious sometimes, so I don't feel like it's necessary to go into detail about the past, but yes. Guys, that's kind of a bit of my dating history. Of course, it's only 8th grade for now for me. So, it it can get either worse or better. Hopefully better. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> but, um, think positively or don't. I don't care. But, um, seriously. If anything else happens with this whole dating thing or whatever, I'll keep you guys updated and more Team M Talks will be on the way. Whether it's depressing or not depressing. See you guys. I'll see you later. Adios.